Hey everybody, Maddie here with Backwoods Mindset. So I am back um, from Shoot Dang Ranch now, and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna let you in on all the dirt. I'm gonna tell you about what it was like being there, what I had to deal with, um, what it's really like. You guys are gonna get the get the grit, the the real information. So I'm gonna get going here. Um, I'll be back in a minute or two, and we'll get on with this, and I'll kind of talk to you, explain my trip, um, everything from beginning to end, um, and you guys can get a little look into it. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I want to thank you guys first off for all the new subscribers that have come over. That's amazing. Uh, love having new family members. I hope that I get to talk to you guys all at some point. Um, I try to respond to as many comments as I can. Fortunately, unfortunately, lately, I've been getting so many comments, it's really hard um, to get just back to everybody. As much as I really want to, it's just very hard to do. Now, um, so I wanna thank everybody for coming over and before I start this, I also have the new channel, which is the Shoot Dang Ranch customer service channel, which Jason and Jared gave me permission to do. Um, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you haven't already subscribed, head over there and subscribe. I'll put the link down in the description of this video. Um, and I hope that you like, there's already one video on there, so you can check that out. It's the uh, Buck did the inspection of the tiny house. So, and you get a little tour of the tiny house, I guess. But anyways, um, once again, thanks for being here. Um, so, I start off with my trip. I started driving and it was really boring being by yourself. It's a long trip um, for like 14 and a half hours and uh, not much. I was lucky, I had 12 Stones Ranch, who's one of my buddies. Um, I talked to him for a little bit. Um, on the phone while I was driving. And of course I talked to my wife for a little bit, my mom. Then um, I got there, it was like three o'clock in the morning and I parked at the end of the driveway cause I thought the gate was closed. Um, and I didn't just want to be rolling in either cause I wasn't sure the layup or layup layout. I didn't want to just drive in. I'm a respectful person and be shining my lights into tiny house windows or campers or anything. Um, freaking out dogs, having them barking. So um, I slept in my truck uh, in the back seat, which wasn't bad, but it was very, very hot. Um, woke up in the morning, I went to Walmart and uh, did a little video there. You can go back and see that from when I got there. And it was um, the smallest Walmart I've ever been to. Um, there wasn't a, you know, it wasn't like your normal, like super Walmart or whatever, but it was, uh, it was pretty neat. Um, I got my stuff, um, headed back. Uh, Jason and Danielle were still in town at Danielle's house at that point. Um, so when I pulled in, I went, Jared was up. He came over, said hi. Uh, we started chatting for a while. Um, it, it very hospitable. Um, he got me a drink as soon as I was there. Um, this is what they've got me hooked on now. The clear American... Um, this is the cherry. The cherry isn't as good as the black cherry, but I haven't been able to stop drinking these since I've been to the ranch. Um, he gave me one of those. They're outstanding. Um, highly recommend them at Walmart. Available. They're like $3.98 for a 12-pack or something like that. Um, I've been blowing through them, so they're good. And there's nothing in them. No sugar. Um, there is aspartame in them, but they're still they're delicious. But we hung out. We went over to... Um, feed the animals. We went over and did that. Um, I got to meet the goats and the other dogs and a bunch of the dogs and the chickens and the turkeys and see all that. Um, see how they do all that. Um, and we sat around, talked for a little bit, went over stuff. Um, and it, Jason and Jared are the nicest guys in the world. Um, Danielle is also an extremely nice person. Uh, but we hung out, talk, chat. We're good friends. So it's just like friends do. Um, they were very helpful. Um, anything I had questions about, they answered 
immediately they helped me out they taught me things uh helped me learn um i feel really confident um leaving there um they've given me tons of advice danielle even um took time to when i had questions with the gopro because i'm new to using a gopro now um, i'm actually recording on a gopro right now but danielle sat down with me i had questions on how to move stuff around how to move stuff to an app um and that was that was awesome um learning and just being able to watch and see how they do their craft is amazing um and you know they say that you know they're not huge or they're not professional these guys they they know what they're doing and they have a gift and um and so does danielle danielle's new to it but she still she's doing stuff that i don't know how to do and they took the time to show me how to do it they bought the food they paid for the drinks they are amazing people um i had a great time um anybody that thinks anything bad about the crockers you just there's nothing bad about them they're just good people they're friends of mine they're friendly people they take care of those animals those animals are so happy they give them water they feed them they do everything that they're supposed to do they spend time with them those dogs are extremely happy um like i said i saw the cat momentarily in the field for a second um not for a long time but they're all out there those animals are out there living their lives and that's you know important they're having they're having fun um now we did go over and we got water from one of the neighbors while i was there and brought it over and we filled up the um the ponds a little bit to put some water in there the animals did have water though uh before that um they do take care of them i'll say this when you're out on that ranch everything takes a lot longer than you think it would it's not just as easy as going and grabbing some water it takes time it took us a couple hours to fill up those tanks sorry my dog's hitting the table right now but uh it takes time to get that water um to fill it up you have to drive over you're going through heavy brush to get the side by side through with the trailer and then you got to put a the thing on top of it and fill it up with water and it takes time and then you got to drive back really slow and you're driving with a couple hundred gallons of water on the back of a trailer and you don't want it to fall off because if it falls off now you're into a whole new situation so there's a lot that goes into it. Everything takes them a lot longer. Um, <clears throat> and that's just honest. I mean, it's it's just, they everything takes them a lot longer to do. So I guess just moving forward, when you're watching one of their videos and you're like, hey, why haven't you done this yet? Why haven't you done that yet? When I was there the one day, it said it was 117 degrees. I don't know, I'm sure some of you guys have been in 117 degree weather, but 117 degree weather is not fun when you have to do stuff. And they still are up the crack of dawn out there doing what they're supposed to do, what they need to do. Um, nothing they do is a show. It's all real. They're real people doing real stuff. Um, and it's impressive. And I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Um, do I think that that lifestyle is for everyone? No. No, it's a lot harder than you think it is. I think that people could learn to live like that but at the same time i don't think most people uh could mentally do it um it's very difficult you don't have your normal things that you're used to um they're very lucky that they have campers my kids are staring at me over there but they had um you know they have their camper that they can cool off in which is really important um the um jared's really rough in it um that jason and danielle are roughing it too but they do have an air conditioner jared doesn't even use his air conditioner he just got those windows wide open but <clears throat> i guess it just depends you know who you are sorry a plane went over and the dogs are here we're back in the city so uh we're all me and the family are just hanging out outside tonight but back to what i was saying um they're roughing it it's hard everything out there um using the bathroom isn't fun using a bucket um it's different it's fun i imagine if you're just doing it here or there like i don't care um i had a great time it was amazing it was amazing to get to hang out with friends um oklahoma adrenaline life great kid um 
it was nice having him around. He was nice enough to drive me around in it side by side. Um, I got to drive a side by side for a little bit. It's a lot of fun. I'm obsessed and I want to get one now. But overall, the experience was great. They're amazing people. I really hope that I get to do it again. Um, I consider them close, good friends. Um, love them to death. And I appreciate them taking the time out of their week um, to hang out and teach me stuff and just be friends. Like, that's really what it was all about was just a bunch of friends getting together, hanging out and having a good time. We did some fishing, did ride, rode some side by sides, Daniel rolled the four wheeler. Um, they're just, they're amazing people to hang out with. So, um, and they didn't have to do that uh, for me. They didn't have to do that for anybody, but um, I want to thank them personally. Thank you, Jason, Danielle, Jared. Thank you for having me out. Um, I had a blast. Um, and everybody, it's they're the real deal. So keep that in mind. Um, I wanted to make this video just to kind of tell you guys. But anyways, I'm going to get going. I've got some stuff I got to do here in a little bit. Stay tuned. Uh, we're going to have some funny videos coming out. Like I said, don't forget to go check out the Shoot Dang Ranch customer service channel. Um, that's that's new. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because I don't want you to ever miss a video. Me and the kids got a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing. We're going to be out fishing, um, doing some exploring. We got the metal detector, which you could go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it. But we got a lot going on, and there's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on. And I got some big surprises coming up. And you guys are just going to have to wait and see what I got. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye.